I'm Jen from Online Fabric Store. Oil cloth is a great fabric to use for many things because it's easy to clean. Today I'm going to show you how to make a cosmetic bag and brush holder to keep at home or take with you when traveling. So let's get started. The materials you'll need are one yard of oil cloth. I'm using Aqua Stella oil cloth fabric, two and a half inch wide satin ribbon, thread, fabric scissors, a nine inch zipper, a ruler, a fabric marker, ballpoint pins, and a hand needle. First, lay the oil cloth fabric right side up. Then pin all three pattern pieces to the oil cloth and cut. For the brush holder, cut a second piece for the lining. Remove the pins and pattern from the cosmetic bag piece. On the short ends, fold the edge over a half inch and press with your fingers to make a crease. Make sure the zipper is open. Center the zipper evenly on one end and pin. Stitch along the fold line using a zipper foot. Take the other end of the oil cloth, pin, and stitch to the zipper. Move the zipper before you reach the end. First, fold the bag inside out. Pin the sides and stitch with a half inch seam allowance. Backstitch at the top and the bottom. At each bottom corner, measure three inches across from the side seam allowance to the bottom. Stitch on the lines and cut, leaving a quarter inch seam allowance. Fold to the right side through the zipper opening. If needed, take an object with a pointy end and use it to help pop the corners out. Then push the corners inward to create a flat surface on the bottom. Hand stitch the corners closed and the cosmetic bag is complete. Remove the pins and pattern from the brush holder pieces. Place the large pattern pieces together with the wrong sides facing each other. Fold the edges inward a quarter of an inch and pin. Stitch along the edge using a 1 8 inch seam allowance. Take the small rectangle and fold the edges over a quarter of an inch. Pin and stitch around all four sides. Place this piece at the bottom of the large rectangle with the right side facing up. Pin the sides to help keep it in place. Take the pattern piece and mark where the stitch lines are. Use this as a guide for stitching the pockets. From each point, stitch a straight line down to the bottom. 
Stitch along the sides and bottom of the small rectangle. Depending on how long you want the ribbon, measure a yard and a quarter to a yard and a half of the ribbon and cut at an angle. Place the center of the ribbon on the back of the brush holder and pin each side. Stitch with a quarter inch seam allowance on both sides. Fold the case in half and tie the ribbon to make a bow. The brush holder is now complete. You can fit the brush holder in the cosmetic bag to take wherever you go and help keep all your brushes organized. Thanks for watching this OFS project. Mm -hmm.